find it. A girl of my age with long, dark, slightly wavy hair. I'll call her my dear friend, Kate. Kate was a student of mine. First, she was a student. Then she became a friend. Then she became my non-designated mentor. Let me tell you about her subtle mentorship that influenced my life immensely. Kay did what some of my other friends had done before. At some point, she asked me this profound question. Tanya, why are you still here? What? Why are you still here with your English and not abroad? And I said, because, and that was the only answer I could come up with. There had been many friends who had asked me this question before, and at the time that my friend asked me this question, I knew that I started to get restless and doing the same old, same old job teaching English. Don't get me wrong, I loved it, and I loved my students, but I did feel like I was in a rut. And I was wondering, was there something that I could change? And I was also wondering, why are there so many people who want to know why I'm still here? Oh, you don't want me here? Of course my sarcasm would wake up and answer automatically. But at the back of my mind, I knew that what my friends were really asking was, why are you not using your whole potential? Why not take it to the next level? And the next level was apparently to go abroad and use my English. I decided to do my mental Google search for my reasons. I got really honest with myself and I came up with two reasons. One, it is really hard. It's like moving a mountain. Two, I don't want to do that by myself. It's really hard and it's scary. Starting on that new path by myself was the biggest reason that stopped me. I had heard of some people who moved someplace else, but they were moving either with their spouses or to their relatives. And if I tried it, it would just be me. But my friend Kay's question had that magic power of the last straw. And as I started looking beyond the fear, I realized that I should try. I did not, I just knew that I did not want to look back and think that I did not even try. And so I decided to ask myself specific questions, setting goals, and snailing forward in that process. And the first step in that process was to update my resume and share it with my friend Kay. By the way, she was the only one who decided to do that and suggest that I share my resume with her for feedback so that I could take the next step and start sending it to my potential employers. With that little nudge, I realized later that it was a big push. Throughout that non-designated, unannounced mentorship with my friend Kate, we did not have many meetings. She did not ask many questions. So how are you doing with your goals? But what she did do for me was, she put a lot of confidence in me, and she gave me a lot of, even though rather quiet, courage to continue pursuing what I wanted to achieve. She really, really had me start the ball rolling. Really rolling. I did a real search, I did a real Google search for what I could apply for, what kind of documents I would need to obtain, what kind of exams I would need to take. 
nine months later, an idea to try gave birth to an actual result. I received a letter of acceptance from Northern Arizona University, NAU. That letter brought a wind of change into my life, and boy, was it blowing strong. After I accepted their acceptance, that wind took me all the way from there, Moscow, Russia, to all the way here, Flagstaff, Arizona. Nine months and a few days later, my friend Kay and I met up for a coffee. I looked at her and I said, thank you. Thank you for that little push. I just really wanted to see you and tell you in person that I have been accepted to a university in the United States. I will be working towards my second master's and I will be teaching composition classes at an American university. I'm leaving this summer. More details followed, more questions and answers, a couple of tears on my face, tears of satisfaction, because that's what I do, I cry when I'm happy. Looking back at that mentoring relationship, now I see, and I would like you to see that, there doesn't have to be a label as a mentor to someone. For me, it was a non-announced, non-designated mentorship. With Kay leading me with her encouragement, I continued pursuing what I wanted to do. And now I want to remind you and myself that seeing some potential in someone else and sharing it with them may actually change their life significantly, like it did for me in that case. So when you see something, say something, and who knows, just maybe your encouragement may be the only thing they need to start the ball rolling. So go ahead and do that with someone else's potential. Spot it and support it. Thank you.